Laurie, can James Horan's team turn the fortunes of Mayo around? Yeah, I, I firmly believe they can. I think there's a growing year of expectation and uh, confidence the closer the game, uh, we get to the game on Sunday. And uh, there's been an incremental improvement of this team right throughout the season. Uh, I just wonder, can Donegal improve from their quarter-final and semi-final victories over uh, Kerry and Cork respectively, whereas I think Mayo can and uh, I think we have a fantastic chance. We've managed to keep it very low-key this year, which is a new uh, yeah. departure for Mayo, so we're really looking forward to it. Now, a lot of pundits were writing Mayo off with the loss of injured captain Andy Moran, yet Mayo blew the dubs away in the first half of the semi-final. Can they impose that sort of game on Donegal again? Yeah, there's no doubt they can because I, I feel that uh, Andy Moran's loss our inspirational captain and he's a charismatic figure it, it certainly galvanized the team and uh, we have new leaders like of Alan Dillon and Kevin McLaughlin stepped up to the mark big time and I've no doubt these guys will step up, up, up to the plate again on Sunday they're playing with great confidence and uh, there's a great freshness about this Mayo team and I'm expecting a right cracker of a game Yes, indeed, it's a novel pairing, uh, Donegal and Mayo. And win, lose or draw, there'll be a big homecoming here in Castlebar on Monday evening, though supporters here are indeed... ...by Martin McHugh, who was on the 1992 team. His son, Mark, is on the current team. And, Martin, we got a flavour there, and you know what the hype is like. Is it as big, as mad as 92? Uh, is that a problem? Yeah, well, it's most people would say it's a problem. I think it's even bigger than 92 but I was down in Mayo during, during the week there and uh, I mean Mayo there's great hype in Mayo as well and even I heard that they're going out to play in the FBD league final out in New York and they actually have the, a, a seat booked for the Sam Maguire on the plane going out there so the hype and the confidence there is good but it's great in this county you know I mean we look at it from from the last 12 All-Ireland finals played six in the morning by the favourites six by the underdogs it's that close a game it's who plays well on the day and the amount of leaders on the day but we're really looking forward to in Donegal we never thought we'd see ourselves in, in another All-Ireland so we're really looking forward to it and you know it's great to see the hype and all the young people here tonight this is what it's about but is there a danger that there's too much hype i know i don't think so i think the team are the one thing with the team they're very focused on what they have to do themselves they're really focused on it they, they're not hyped maybe everybody else in the country's hype the team are not hyped they know what they have to do they want a big performance they're going to need to take their a performance and they realize that themselves can they do it yeah, I, as I said, I think if they take their A performance to, to Crow Park, I think they're good enough to do it. But anything else, you're going to have a Mayo one. So Donegal's need to get maybe the best performance of this year, but they are capable of doing it. Going to be tight? It's going to be, it's going to be very tight. I mean, we look at it, I mean, it's just disappointing that Donegal's playing Mayo. I think a lot of Donegal people would like to see Mayo in the All-Ireland, vice versa. But we'll, we'll be happy enough with Mayo one in, one in the All-Ireland in 2013 <laughs> and Donegal take it this time. OK, well, they're hoping for Sam Maguire back here in the Diamond in Donegal.